What's up guys? So uh, yeah, after my last trip to the San Juan, um, you know, the coronavirus thing kind of took off uh, and I wasn't able to take my next trip. I was supposed to be with my buddy David Knapp in the uh, Great Smoky Mountains. We were going to do a hike in, um, you know, camping, you know, backpacking trip, but uh, park's closed. So kind of forced to stay here, which is kind of, you know, it's kind of a good thing to do right now. You really should be traveling. Um, going to spend the next couple of days, most of this week, um, got good conditions. Um, side fishing grass carp. So I thought I would come out today, kind of walk through how I set my kayak up. Um, and as the day goes on, I might go ahead and you know drop in, um, break the video up, and explain kind of what I'm doing, what I'm looking at, um, some of the flies I use. Kind of do like a part two to the video I made maybe a year ago, maybe longer. I can't remember how long ago that I made that video, but uh, I've gotten a lot of requests to, to kind of finish that up. So I figured I would do that this week. This is my first trip out this year. I haven't uh, I haven't been out and seen what it's like. There's been a lot of people on the water. Um, you know, people fishing and getting out and boating since they can't go to work, can't go to school. So I expect the carp will be kind of pushed back. Uh, and the water's kind of high. We've had a lot of rain, so I think uh, more than likely I'll be back deep in some ponds, probably have to cross some, some, some logs and maybe some islands to get back into some, some of those fish that are trying to get away from some of the, uh, the traffic on the lake. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, time to go fish. The other thing I want to do today was kind of talk to you guys about the way I set my kayak up for um, sight fishing, you know, kayak fly fishing, sight fishing. Um, there's some things I do specifically uh, to make sure that I'm not making any noise when I'm on the water. Um, whether it's redfish or grass carp, whatever you're sight fishing, you know, your kayak is is kind of small, but it, you know, you know, sound transfers through the water pretty easily. So the first thing I do is look through the kayak and I make sure that I remove anything that will snag fly line. I take the foot pegs off um, and they're easy. They slide in and out and I just I put them back inside here. And I'll leave those inside the hatch. That way if I'm on the water, I need those. If I'm coming back and the weather turns and uh, you know, you need, you get some chop on the water, you really need to be able to lock yourself in your seat and paddle out. So I, I don't, I don't remove those and leave them like at home or anything. I, I put them in the kayak, keep them with me. And that's important. The other thing I do is, um, Jackson's come with a little tray, but it had a little string here and it had some knots. I cut those off, take those out. Um, if you look here on the hatch, this has this little tag in. If you leave it like that, the fly line's gonna snag behind it. So I just kind of push that up. Nothing gets behind there. That pretty much opens up the deck, makes it pretty um, snag free. This is a Cuda HD. It's my favorite kayak to fly fish out of. A pad. This is just a truck mat um, that you get on the floor. But, you know, I bought it at Walmart and put a couple of zip ties in the front of it here and I lay my rod on it so it doesn't slide off on, on fishing. And I just slide that in right there and what that does is 
when you drop your paddle in, it deadens that noise. This, you know, you hear that, that, that right there, that will spook grass carp in a, in a heartbeat. So the other thing you'll see is I put a uh, pool noodle and I just use the, the straps on the cod to put that in there. Um, and that helps me when I drop my paddle, when I'm transitioning from, you know, when I see a fish and I transition to making a cast, I don't have to like be super slow and delicate when I'm trying to drop a paddle. I just drop it down and that, that pool noodle is gonna stop any noise from going to the water, which is really, really important. So it's really basic, a little simple. I don't, I don't spend a lot of time um, making a lot of fancy improvements and things like that. I try to keep it simple, it's a kayak. Um, and I don't wanna spend 20 minutes trying to rig my kayak out to go side fishing. So those few things that I do are really, really helpful uh, in the marsh, side fish to redfish, here at grass carp. If it's, uh, I'm side fishing trout on the tailwater, the same thing, you know, you're really trying to keep that noise out of the water. Um, and speed up that transition between, you know, dropping the paddle and picking up a fly rod and making a cast. So the other thing I said I would do is kind of walk through the gear I use. Um, I'd mostly use an eight weight, nine foot eight weight fly rod. Um, something with a, a warm fly line, like a salt water line. Like this is a, just a general all arounder from Orbis. Um, it does pretty well. All right, so I guess we should talk about leader setup next. Uh, I generally use a seven and a half foot tapered down to two X, and then I add on a foot around 10 inches, whatever, of three X. Um, that gets me through most of my my fishing on occasion I'll extend it out to like nine foot and do two X and add on another um, Foot of three X and I'll give me like a ten foot leader Anything less than that usually seven and a half foot and your fly lines just land too close to your fly You have to give um, Give some distance between the two those carp are super sensitive and they'll feel anything that impacts the water around them So it's, uh, it's been a pretty good day, but can't see anymore. The sun's gotten to a point where I just you know, can't see fish in the water and I'm just spooking everything. So we're gonna you know, pack up, paddle back out about a mile to go um, to get to my truck. Um, when I get there, I'll show you some of the flies that I was using the last couple of days. And it's been, you know, I've had to switch up a lot. Today I had to lengthen my leader. Usually I try to about, you know, like I said, eight to eight and a half foot. Today I had to go to about 10. The fish were just super spooky. Um, still ending with a uh, 3X tippet, so that was kind of, kind of the, the thing to, uh, to do today. But uh, yeah, when I get back, I'll, I'll throw out some of the flies that I've been using. Okay, so I said I wanted to end the, the trip showing you guys some of the flies I was using. You kind of have to move around and figure out which one you want to throw, but this one right here is definitely the one that if I'm having a tough day and I'm tired of trying to figure out what they want to eat, I, I put that on, and usually that will catch me a fish. Um, dry fly, like, you know, something foamy. Some, some hackle to get it to ride and sit above the surface a little bit and they'll chase that down. This is the one I like throw around bushes. I build the head up, like this is kind of a medium size. I'll make that really super fat where, and change the hook up, that's a bonefish hook. I'll put a regular nymph hook on that and where it'll just sit on the surface the whole time it won't sink. Just a little emerger. It's kind of the same as the, the other one I had, but it's catching some fish. And yeah, it's another dry. Good bugs. You know, I don't use them every single trip. Um, definitely had to switch up the last three or four days, and each one of those caught fish. Not every single day, though.
Hope that helps. All right, so that's uh, so I think that's went out three days this week, and uh, every day caught fish. Um, overall, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's early, like I said, I had, this is the first week I've been out in 2020, so carp are still kind of moving around. Um, you know, they're kind of still transitioning, and there's been a lot of traffic, a lot of people out fishing. So um, when they get, you know, people start going across the flats, they kind of they tend to move out. But hopefully, some of the tips and some of the, the pointers and things that I've shared and how I do some of the things I do will help somebody out. But uh, I'm gonna throw the kayak back in the truck. Um, hopefully, this whole coronavirus thing will speed up and get out of here and we can start doing some travels. I'm ready to take our actual trip trip. Um, hopefully uh, middle of April me and some buddies had a trip planned to the white so that's still in Arkansas so as long as everything stays like it is uh, we're still allowed to go fish and I'm hoping to go do that. So I got to tie some caddis flies. Um, yeah but it's been fun. I had a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know be sure to subscribe and check out the rest.